un hombre que vive peligroso Todo lo que passed away right before the uh, right before Christmas. Um, I know Trustee Fuentes and I and maybe a few others had the opportunity to uh, visit him and, and Mary in the hospital. Uh, it is a great loss to South Orange County. I would ask my colleagues that we adjourn tonight in the memory of Ron Young and more closely to home, many of you know Trustee Joan Huter served on this board for about 12 years. Uh, she passed away last week. And on behalf of my colleagues, I send district's condolences, thoughts, and prayers to her family. Uh, I would ask also that we have the opportunity tonight to adjourn in memory of Trustee Huter. Uh, her services are this uh, Saturday. Closed session, the board approved an agreement with Dr. Mather, pursuant to which Dr. Mather's service as the district chancellor shall end on June 30th, 2010, and provides for his retirement from the district, effective June 30th, 2011. The board's vote on this matter was as follows. In favor, Trustee Wagner, Adver, Jerry, and Ray of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. And instead of telling you that which you already know, which is the importance of the film and television production department to this college, its students, and the community at large, I'd like to focus on the issue that has prompted this discussion, the standards to which those departments are to be held. There are those in this board and in this community who would prefer it if the student productions didn't take advantage of the wiggle room often allowed for in Hollywood, and I agree. However, as I'm sure you know, legislating matters of taste is something that is at best difficult. And the proof of that is the simplistic, if not realistic, solution that had been floated early on in this process, which is, let's close the department, that will solve everything. We live in a Three years ago, I was denied from every school I applied to in state, and I swallowed my pride and said, I'll just go to Saddleback College. It's honestly one of the best mistakes I've ever made in my life. I've learned here more than I would say if I could get a bachelor's degree here, I certainly would. I'm, I'm Gordon Spencer with Cox Channel 3. Um, I'm here just in support of the uh, television and communication program. Uh, support because we've had a great relationship over the years with the program, so I wanted to come help uh, speak on, on their behalf. Um, we use interns from Saddleback College all the time to help us out, which is great. We've uh, hired probably a third of, of those students um, because of the great creativity. So I guess the, the simple statement would be, I think it's better to inform viewers by letting them know what program they're about to see rather than restrict producers on what they can produce. Thank you. I'm Olivia Bain. I'm a student here at Saddleback College, and although I'm not in the communications or arts department, when I heard about the issue that's come up because of a coming out story, I felt that it was indicative of a variety of issues in the school that really do need to be addressed, not the least of which being the homophobia that's very evident by the fact that this is even a discussion. The fact that this came out because a documentary was made about a woman coming out, as opposed to gratuitous violence or sex, shows that it's not about the rating, it's about the content, it's about the ideas it might present. Good filmmaking, like any form of good art, is inherently provocative. And to expect any less of the students of this college is doing them a disservice. I hope that no changes are made to the film department, and I feel that an effort to limit the school's channel to a rating of PG is 
bordering on censorship and really unnecessary. As someone else has pointed out, the vast majority of students here are adults. We can view films that aren't just PG, we can view films that, films that are PG-13 and rated R, and in fact, the, such films are frequently shown in classes here, or discussed, books dealing with a range of topics that would easily be rated R, are assigned reading. It's unfair to apply different standards for this one department. Thank you. My name is Jacqueline Zimbalist, and I'm currently enrolled in Professor Kanishi's documentary class, and I've taken or been involved in assisting with several film classes and student projects here on the campus. As a longtime student of both Saddleback and IBC, I can attest to the high caliber of the film programs here at Saddleback in particular, to rival the programs at Chapman, USC, and UCLA. And I speak to you as both a student and a member of the community and urge the board to deny approval of Agenda Action Item 6.1, limiting channel 39 and 33 of PG only broadcasts. The recommendation, if approved, will severely handicap the ability of the college to broadcast student projects without being forced to edit them to resemble some kind of non-controversial mush. Who are watching it in the greater numbers are the very people who are sitting here who have written, edited, produced, and sometimes even starred in these productions. It is their opportunity, after so much time, and often putting in a lot of their own money, to see their product um, aired. So I am asking that the board reconsider any ideas. Thank you. Hi, everybody. How are we doing tonight? Good. Good. All right. Um, I'd just like to say that um, I had applied to a Chapman College, and I wanted to go there a couple of years ago, because it was my dream film school, but I didn't get in. Oh well, so I decided to go to Saddleback for a couple of years, and I, my original plan was to do two years of Saddleback and get out. But that wasn't until I discovered the film program. And here the film program has really opened so many doors to me, and I feel that I've learned a lot. Um, I am opposed, however, to, I guess, imposing uh, the condition that um, only those um, uh, films, I guess, that um, have a rating of PG or uh, lower, I guess it would be, uh, be aired on that channel. Uh, that does uh, smack of uh, censorship to me. Um, uh, I certainly uh, think that it has some, uh, could have some negative implications in terms of uh, students' uh, willingness to be involved in this kind of program. I could see some very negative impacts regarding accreditation. Uh, associated with uh, this kind of uh, recommendation and uh, I would uh, offer that before we would move ahead with um, that sort of thing uh, those would be the kinds of things as well as the kind of concerns that you've heard tonight ought to be further vetted uh, before we make a rash decision that I think could have some very negative implications upon this institution uh, and uh, to be brought. I appreciate all the hard work that went into it, and um, it's a very thorough, it came uh, first as a report, and now it's an action item. And um, I think that in terms of Trustee Lang's comments, there's always been, as my understanding, um, there's always been a restriction on what Channel 39 can air, according to Cox's um, uh, rules and that I believe has been PG-13. I don't believe the films that have been made have held to that standard. Many of them have been well beyond and stretched that uh, PG-13. We have had complaints from citizens about the um, quality, not all of the films, I'm not meaning to say that. Um, however, if we have that kind of problem, we have to address it, and that's what this is about. I think we could have been sanctioned, frankly, by the real world, by some of the material that was put out. It certainly did not meet the PG-13 rating. If I'm wrong about any of these assumptions, I'd like to hear it from the staff, or from our dean, or our president. Hail Atlantis. Wait.